Charles. Glenn Charles. Yes. You're representing PFC Fisher, right? In there. And you are? Oh, I'm Captain Phillips. I'm the boy CEO. How's it going in there? Not so good. I was caught with the large cache of drugs in the car he was driving. Not to mention the fact that there was a murder. And you know what really doesn't help? He's not likeable. I mean, not even by me. And I'm his damn lawyer. He's not a bad kid. I know him. He's just having a rough time. You know what? I'm just going to have to take your word for that. You don't have to like him. Just understand that he's important. Yeah, I can tell. That's probably why I haven't heard from his family during all this. They must be uh, stunned silent by his sheer importance. <laughs> what is your problem, Charles? I thought I made that pretty clear. He's an ass. He was caught driving the car with a military... Someone else's With a military car. issue weapon. And a boot full of drugs. So much drugs to start a small gang. And then he gave me attitude. A lot of attitude. He obviously doesn't respect you. Let me talk to him. Set him straight. I guarantee he'll cooperate after I've had five minutes with him. Why is that kid so important to you? He's one of the kids we're shipping out to Afghanistan. The platoon needs him. Every one of those boys is important to me. If you'd ever served, you'd understand that. Okay, so, uh, so, so you want me to get him out of jail as soon as possible? So you can send him off to his death? That's the plan, huh? Look, Mr. Charles, you don't have to like him. You don't have to like me. You don't have to agree with the politics of what we have been ordered to do. What you have to do is get that boy out with the greatest possible expedience so that the other men you have witty wisecracks about don't die. Can you understand that? Oh, yeah, I understand. It's the greater good. Support your troops by sending this one off to fight with the other ones against that other group. Let me offer you my perspective. I don't have to like you, or him, or whatever orders you're following. What I have is a responsibility, and it's to that kid in there. Not to his team, or your orders, or the greater good. I have a responsibility, because I believe that kid is both innocent and is hiding something. Now, if you can loosen that out of him, that's great. But if you think you can come in here and remind me that he needs to sacrifice his life, I suggest you save yourself some gas. You know what? I can see why he doesn't respect you. <laughs> That's your best shot? I'll talk to him. Just do me a favor and don't be there when I do. It wouldn't help either of us if my elbow accidentally slipped off the table and into your smug face. <laughs>